How do you share a passion for science, engineering, technology, and math, and a commitment to encourage a generation of smart, innovative future leaders? How do you make the world a better place? How do you nurture a God-given talent, a big, bold, bright spirit? You sponsor, mentor, support, and team with a group of amazing young students. In other words, you get your drone on. And that's exactly what we did when we partnered with an inquisitive, curious, bright group of high school students with a hunger for innovation and technology. We try to get kids to think of the positive things and how drones can benefit the community. We are basically an outfit that tries to get kids interested in STEM, initially at the middle school level, then at the high school level. Though drones are a lot of fun, drones are the vehicle we use to teach STEM. It began by debating, discussing, hypothesizing, and imagining ways to use drones for good to benefit the communities in which we live. So there are lots of uses for drones just across the board. Some of the kids in these uh, middle school research projects, they're looking at working with the National Park Service. We ourselves work with MARTA, so there's a lot of surveillance that needs to be done. You can do mapping, countless things. There are people who use it as first responders in the public sector. There really is, I mean, anything that you can do with a human can be done with a drone. We're teaching kids STEM, we're teaching them how to build drones, how to fly drones, and this just isn't high school kids, this is middle school, maybe elementary school kids as well. So we did a little bit of programming with these drones and we moved on to do a little bit of outreach work with the MARTA Police Department. And so based off of that, we've kind of moved on into doing a lot more research with how to build and fly drones. We've started middle school competitions on letting younger students than us uh, learn how to build them, how to use them in the community. Well, our clients, luckily, I mean, they are focused on the community. I mean, that is their ultimate client. Um, a client like FEMA, for instance, what they're looking to do is to map out where the floodplains are so that new buildings aren't built in those floodplains and put at risk. Uh, with things like climate change occurring, sea level rise occurring, the risk is increasing for lots of, lots of communities out there, lots of buildings out there. The drone technology helps us to map out exactly what the risks are. Being on the drone team has been one of the most instrumental experiences of my 18 years in this world. It's changed the way that I look at the world around me. Now I see drones in everything I look at. And I see them as career options. I see them as ways of making money, ways of enjoying my life in the future, ways of recreation, and just having a good, positive career and a healthy lifestyle in the future. Sometimes you've got to think outside the box. Be big and bold and let your mind fly and trust in a group of kids who would change your mind about what it is to be an inspiration. On the team, I do work with electrical and programming, so that kind of kick-started my interest in electrical engineering, which is what I want to study, probably. And after joining the drone team, I started getting interested in aerospace engineering, so I've been thinking about both of those when I go to college. I've learned the most that I have in any of my classes. I have been exposed to things that I wouldn't be normally be exposed to had I not been on the team, and I've learned really to work with people, and that's, that's something that I need for the rest of my life. I'm actually the only girl, the only senior girl on the team, so sometimes I'll be staying in a room and I'll realize, wait, I'm the only girl in here, but I don't really see a difference between us. I can do the same things that they can do. Who knew this adventure would be so surprising, amazing, fun, full of spirit and excitement and teamwork? Who could have expected that such a deep respect would develop between an experienced team of veteran engineers and a group of students whose enthusiasm and ingenuity knows no bounds? I plan on going into an engineering field of some sort and you always have to work with people. You always have to be some kind of leader and through this program I've become a leader and someone who can work with someone. I would say that you know it's not all scary with all these men in the engineering career. Women do make it and it's it's really fun to be a woman in something that is where you're the minority because people kind of look at you differently it kind of shows them that you can do anything that you put your mind to and really that's that's the important thing we realized that they had become colleagues and that the tables had turned that we had been mentored by them just as equally as they had been by us well mr chambliss you know he's, he's an awesome atkins mentor I love him to death. It was really funny, we were giving a presentation to one of our uh, local aviation chapters recently. He just turned around to us and said, you know what, I shouldn't be giving this part of the presentation. These guys should, they know way more than I do at this point. It was a really powerful signal that he gave us that he's passed along the torch and he sees us now more as equals than as, you know, mentorees. 
Together we could dream and do and see the reality of a technology which one day could be used to help someone, somewhere, somehow. What began as an opportunity to teach some kids about a drone turned out to be an opportunity to change a life. With a little help, anyone can soar.